You are about to witness the birth of a miracle. Who's that chap who runs them? Always got his name in the paper. Oh, Robin Tate. Does have a talent for publicity. <laughs> Personal publicity. That gets things done. B.L. Brochure. Did you send for that? Why not? The maestro is really lovely, isn't it? What do you think? And it's British. Perhaps you could specify a maestro for your new company car. You never know, Paul. Perhaps we don't need those brochures. I hardly think so. The parent company operates from Dusseldorf. I suppose a Mercedes would be too much to ask. I've got to face the facts, Anna. Is this interview I have today going to be any more successful than the others? There's no question of you being inferior. Anyway, we don't have to be there till later today, so what about deciding which model we'd like? But you must have a preference. I really do like that maestro, don't you? Yeah, it looks like a good buy. Quite low on petrol and all the rest. Pretty nippy. Dead right for your image. Huh? How come? A maestro for a maestro? <laughs> Dynamic styling and advanced technology, the new Austin Maestro. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Alan. Anyway, you won't be seeing this heat broken down in the middle of the clothes for much longer. I get the new one shortly, just as soon as I've decided on the colour. Another new car on the clothes. It's a nice job, nice and smart. You won't mind having this one around. You're not on our rails. No, it's an Escort, XR3. Oh. Lovely motor. We're getting a Maestro. Paul and I decided this morning. Oh, yeah. I like them. Talking instruments and everything. I wouldn't mind messing about with them. You'll have to let me have a go in it. Won't you, Lucy? Yeah. Just took my street, that is. No, well, we will only be getting the basic one, uh, not the one with computers. Oh. You're very welcome to come and look at it, though. But, uh, not with the computers and instruments? Oh, no, actually, I, I think I'd find it a bit off-putting. Who wants a bossy lady telling them what to do? <laughs> Seatbelts. I've heard her on the adverts. I quite fancied her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maestro has the versatility to offer the same interior space you'd expect to find in some larger cars. The HLE using microchip technology to deliver 60 miles per gallon at 56 miles per hour. Hello, Dad. I'm surprised you missed that one. Missed what? Him across the way. He just parked his car in the old house. <laughs> you just can't be cross with him, though. He's like an overgrown child. Do you know, he was really disappointed because our maestro is not going to be the one with computers. Oh, silly fool. He said he's getting an escort. I don't know, all these new cars. What do you stand to make on your deal, Dad? That's hardly your concern, Lucy. Nothing to do with you, do you hear? I'm sorry, I only asked. This is the one I like. Maestro Vanden Plaar, linking luxury and refinement with technology. Please fasten your seatbelt. It's only a car, Paul. It's a shame to see it go. Well, we're not exactly on the poverty line. We can afford to get something fairly decent. That's not the point. I just wonder where I'm going to go from here. Well, it's not everyone who can go out and buy a brand new car. Itching to have a go in it. Oh, come on, cheer up. It's a loss to all of us, you know. Thank you. It sounds a bit complicated, doesn't it? Oh, they're wonderful cars. And besides, they're British. Well, that's not always a formula for success. <laughs> hey, I must say I like it. What do you think? Well, I'm no expert, but... Morning. 
low fuel. <laughs> Apparently, it's fuel injected. Believe it or not, that's controlled by a microchip. Of course, we'll get double the mileage we got out of the rover. All in all, I think we'll make about 4,000 on the exchange. Hey, that's not bad, is it? You know, I really do like the feel of it. Good, because you'll be using it as much as me. It's for both of us, you know. And later on, the children could use it, couldn't they? Uh, let's take one step at a time. Remember the old Zodiac we had when we first married? <laughs> well, that was a monstrosity of a car. Oh, it wasn't. I loved it. Did all our courting in it, remember? Mm, how could I forget? <laughs> Couldn't get up to much in this. We didn't in the Zodiac. Oh, well, you wouldn't let me. <laughs> and now, the fusion of space, speed, and sports car handling, the MG-1600, coming to life at a stunning 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.6 seconds. The miracle maestro. Driving is believing. You're early. I thought I'd have to wait hours. I've got my meeting tonight. Oh. Well, how did it go? Oh, very interesting. I'll tell you about it later. I thought we agreed to meet here to talk about this little beauty. Oh, just talk? No. I must have forgotten to mention it. I've arranged a test drive. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful? No. Merely the first stage in buying a new car. <laughs> Let me apologize on behalf of us all, Mr. Crawford. You're right. Our behavior has been appalling. 